Now, a study accidentally published online has revealed that the Chinese government is trying to reduce the Uyghur population in Xinjiang province. Uh, the study was intended for senior officials only, but was published in error last year and then archived by an academic. The report lays out the state's policy of offering job transfers to members of the ethnic minority, which then forces them out of Xinjiang. Well, the academic who made a copy of that report is Dr. Adrian Zenz, and he joins me now from Minneapolis. Um, thank you very much for speaking to us on France 24 today. Tell us, first of all, how you came across this information initially. Did you simply stumble across this report? Um, it was, in fact, um, pointed out to me by one of the Uyghur activists in exile who just gave me a whole large number of documents, many of them not very new. But once I saw this report, uh, it immediately sprung to my attention, but it had not been archived. It was given to me as a PDF. So I immediately went to the web archiving and was surprised to find it was a formal working paper of a university, unprecedented to have something like this publicly available. And um, Was it immediately um, apparent to you just how explosive uh, the contents of this report was and that it wasn't meant for, to be viewed by the public? Um, within a few minutes, I realized the, the significance of the document. However, it did take a, a couple of days to, uh, to find the most uh, crucial or most incriminating parts about um, the intention to assimilate the Uyghurs through labor transfer and especially the reference to population thinning. And once I found that, I started to look also at other Chinese public documents who were maybe not quite as blunt, but who also spoke similar things already years ago. Um, you, you and your colleague have said that there is evidence um, via this information that you were able to archive that the labour transfer uh, programme could be considered a crime against humanity. Can you explain? Yes. Um, I had been in touch with the US Holocaust Museum last year because they made a crime against humanity's determination. Um, the uh, researchers and legal experts of the Holocaust Museum were asking me whether the primary purpose of the labor transfer is our economic. Is it mainly about saving money? Because if the main purpose is not economic, if there's a political or even demographic or even other ulterior motive behind them, they could be considered uh, their own dedicated crime against humanity of forcible transfer, as had been the place in the former Yugoslavian republics, where forcible transfer uh, was used against the civilian population. Um, and we know how the government in Beijing is likely to respond to this. They say, look, this is a voluntary transfer of people. Nobody is forced to move. What do you make of that response? By now, the evidence is overwhelming. We have um, literally evidence at every step of the transfer process, from recruitment to transfer to on-site management to worker retention, in great detail uh, that they are coercive elements, very strong coercive elements, throughout the entire process. There's now there's almost no gap now in our uh, analysis. Just finally, um, given this, this rather explosive information that you've been able to come across, what are you hoping to do with it now? Are there legal avenues that can be pursued against the, uh, the Chinese state? The crime against humanity of forcible transfer determination, uh, unfortunately, uh, is only defined by the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court in The Hague. China is not part of the ICC. Um, I think our greatest promise here is to really take legal and other steps here in the West, in the European Union, in Britain, in other countries, to say it is not legal nor moral nor acceptable to import goods that might in any way be linked to Uyghur forced labor. It's, it's really on us now to take action steps. All right, Adrian Zenz, I want to thank you very much indeed for coming on France 24 uh, and talking to us um, about your work.